girl Sunray coming at you guys with a very, very, very exciting prophetic word. God has been downloading this in my spirit for like the last two weeks of the new year. And I finally have all of the pieces together to release it to you. So as you guys see, it's gonna, I'm going to be speaking a lot. But we're going to get straight to the point because it's going to go really quick. All right. So this prophetic word is titled, you have entered preparation season. Let me say that again. You have entered preparation season, God. We thank you. We thank you for the delivering of this prophetic word, God. We just thank you because this is going to make sense for a lot of people. So. Y'all know how I like to do. I like to break things down because I am a teacher at heart. I mean, y'all know I tutor the sciences. So let's get right on into it. So the important words for this season or for this prophetic word, glory, you are covered in his glory, grace, you are surrounded by his grace. I'll break down what all this means. This is just an overview. Isolation, you are removed from all distractions, legacy. This is the most important of the four. This is God's main purpose for your preparation. It is that God is giving you your legacy, okay? God is giving you your legacy. So before I go into more detail with the words, I just wanted to go over um, important definitions. So when we talk about glory, we're talking about the eminence of God, the essence of his character. Um, it's a reflection of him. So he has covered you with his mighty wing. So God's glory is covering you in this hour. Almost think of it as, I don't know if you guys ever watched like Harry Potter. I used to watch that when I was growing up as a kid. Um, side note, all the witchcraft and stuff, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the fact he had this invisible cloak and this cloak covered him so no one was able to see him. God's glory is covering you, except the only thing is, is that obviously everyone can see God's light in you. You are emanating. You are a reflection of God's glory. All right, so grace, the unmerited favor and blessings of God follows you, okay? He's opening doors. God's been speaking a lot to me this past week about open door. I kept saying open door, open door, open door. And then it was like open all the doors in my house. But he's opening doors for you that propel you further into your legacy. So a lot of you that have felt periods of stagnation, those periods are going to be ending. Why? Because in order to step into your legacy, there are some doors that need to be opened that only God can open. That's that Isaiah 22, 22, the key of David. It's opening up doors that only God can open. Um, people notice it because... Things that normally would take a long time for them or things that normally they couldn't do. For some reason, you just have this grace. You just have like this favor that things just work out for you in a way differently than it would for other people. You get what I'm saying? So you move distinct. You are distinct because you are a reflection of a distinct God, the one and only God, our God, El Shaddai, the almighty God. You get what I'm saying? So... Next word, isolation. So receiving your legacy requires great focus. A legacy is a gift. So it is requiring great focus and must require a close intimacy with God. So distractions are being removed. So either God is physically removing distractions or he is guiding. He's placing such a strong urge on you to delete your social medias, to get rid of social medias, to start removing yourself from social circles that are no longer serving you that um, gossip. Uh, a lot of you guys that don't have social media but spend a lot of your time on youtube watching gossip channels and things like that god is removing that desire from you because in order to receive your legacy you have to be close to him because who's giving you this legacy god is giving you this legacy y'all i know i'm just so amped but it's because it just explains everything all right so legacy let's talk about what legacy is y'all see my shirt I got it from Fashion Nova, by the way, for like $4 or was it $5? Something like that. Okay, so something that is received from someone who has died, okay? It's property, etc. It's a gift. It's something transmitted by or received from an ancestor. A few weeks ago, God had me looking at Deuteronomy 1. 
right? Yes. And I did not understand, but then I understood like, okay, God, you're talking about breakthrough where God is allowing us to be able to go through things that we weren't able to go through before. Remember I said, you are covered by his glory and you are surrounded by his grace. That grace is what's opening those doors for you. It's allowing you to break through, go through the things that you weren't able to go through before. So listen, in Deuteronomy 1, remember, Moses began giving a history lesson to the second generation of Israelites, okay? And he was giving them this lesson so that they could learn from the mistakes of their ancestors. Now listen, what did it say the definition of legacy was? Something that is received from someone who has died. There was a whole previous generation of Israelites that died. Why did they die? Because of their lack of faith and their lack of obedience to following the voice and the commands of the Lord. So Moses is like, if you want to see this promised land, if you want to receive the promises that God has promised your ancestors, you as a legacy, you have to make sure two things that you are standing strong in your faith to God and that you are being obedient to God. Do not make the same mistakes as your ancestors did that allowed them not to see the promised land. Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay. So you're like, okay, Sunnery, I get that. How does this tie into my preparation season? Let me tell you. Because God is preparing you as Moses was preparing the second generation. When Moses was sitting there giving them a history lesson, he wasn't just talking just to fill the Bible, just to fill a few words. No, he was giving them a history lesson to prepare them for, for the legacy that God is giving them. That the uh, previous generation did not know how to manage properly. That the previous generation had too much fear. That the previous generation did not know how to... Um, Say no to bells and the idol worship and things like that. Does that make sense? So it's one of those things where the promises that your ancestors were supposed to be given, God needs to prepare you because you are the one that will receive it. You are your generation's legacy. You are your previous generation's legacy. You are your ancestors' legacy. I need y'all to make sure y'all say that in the comments. I am my ancestors' legacy, period, which means I am not going to make the same mistakes that they did, God. I am learning from their mistakes. I am being prepared to receive the legacy that you promised I mean, prepare, prepare to receive the legacy, Lord God. I am prepared to receive my legacy. I have been chosen by you to receive my legacy. And this is to prevent a repeat or uh, and also to uh, make sure that there is a foundation of faith and obedience. This is why you are entering your preparation season. So we're going to end the video talking about the signs that you are in a preparation season. So your life is representative of a generational curse breaker. Mm. I think that says it all right there. You have learned from the mistakes of your ancestors and you set your heart fully on being in submission to the will of God. This is through education. This is through faith. This is through finances. This is through everything that comes from your being. You want everything to be in alignment with the will of God. You are focused not only on your spiritual health, but your mental, physical, emotional, and financial wealth. Okay, let me say that again. You are focused not only on your spiritual health, but your mental, physical, emotional, and financial wealth. You have an urge and, an, and or a desire to learn about financial stability, to learn about investments, to learn about savings, to learn about property, owning properties. The previous generation in our families, we can remove this from the biblical. We can remove it. We can uh, relate it to us directly. Our previous generations, they were only concerned with living paycheck to paycheck. They were only concerned with living to make it. But God, this is this wealth transfer that God is doing. No, we're not going to go steal money from the wicked people. No, God is uplifting us, the generational curse breakers, us, those that are chosen, the legacy. You can call us the legacy generation, the ones that are choosing to follow God. The ones that are choosing to have faith, the ones that are choosing to ensure that the will of God is ahead of their life, the ones that are choosing to uh, further their education and finances, further their education and mental health, further their education and their emotions, further their education and making sure that their life is fully representative of the life that Christ lived while he was here on this earth. So you not only desire it, this is a big thing. You actually have been putting in the work. So if you haven't been putting in the work, this word may not rely, uh, relate to you. It may be something that you will come into but for those of you who have been putting in the work this word is definitely for you 
And also another note, you are in isolation and needing for nothing. Yes, we all want things. Yes, we all desire things. But in, in reality, you are satisfied with what it is God has given you. You are only focused on developing a closer intimacy with God so you can receive your legacy, so that you can move, so that you can be able to do as it is that God has called your previous generations to do. Three more signs. God's favor and grace surrounds you and follows you everywhere. Like I said, that grace and that favor is opening and unlocking doors. Like you, you go places and things are like, oh, here's this free smoothie or, oh, here's this. Or, oh, you know, you have you heard about this opportunity? Like things are just falling into your lap and you're just like, all I have to do is be obedient and show up. Big. All right. God's glory emanates. Emanates means that it, it comes, it radiates off of you. It, it, um... It captivates other people's senses. You get what I'm saying? You are a mere piece to the puzzle of establishing God's kingdom the right way. There are many of us that are generational curse breakers that God has called, that God has chosen to arise at this time specifically. So we are all mere pieces of a puzzle. That's why we all must love on each other and support each other and encourage each other, okay? And then the last thing is another sign. You have changed desires. You have a changed prayer life. And again, you are seeking God's will. So you are your ancestor's wildest dreams because why you are the generational curse breaker. You are getting the legacy. You are the second generation of Israelites. You are breaking through boundaries and breaking through um, obstacles that previous generations have not been able to break through. Why? Because their head was hard. Their heart was hard. Their ears were closed. Their spiritual eyes were closed. They couldn't see. They did not have that faith. They did not have that obedience, but that is not the case for you. Okay? Like, and y'all know normally I'm super calm, like when I deliver prophetic words, but no, this one deserves some energy because I just want to say, you, my love, my beloved, have entered your preparation season. Get ready to not only receive your breakthrough, but to receive the legacy that belongs to you. I love you guys and have a great day.